you. So I made this crab dip some time ago and it was like, I posted it on my social media. I ended up getting like 1.2 million views the first time I posted it. Then the second time I ended up hitting another 1.2 million views and or maybe more than that. But it was like a, a huge success, this crab dip that I made. I actually was so good that they featured me in the TikTok cookbook for this crab dip. Here it is right here. So tonight, we're not gonna be making the crab dip. We're actually gonna be making salmon dip. I wanna see if it blows the same way it did with the crab dip. I actually have some leftover salmon here. Uh, I made salmon last night. We didn't really eat too much of it because we had been really munching on and off all day. So I actually ended up having a lot of salmon and if you know me i do not believe in wasting food so tonight we're making hot salmon and spinach dip like i said before i'm using leftover salmon i'm going to just break it up I gotta get me some gloves i'm going go ahead and just break this salmon up into small pieces so i have broken it up to, that's how it looks. Next, I'm gonna chop up an onion. So people always ask me what's like the easiest way to chop up an onion. Honey, I be, I be messing these onions up. So I chopped up my onions. Just gonna add them to this bowl, set them to the side till I'm ready for them. Now I'm gonna chop up some of the spinach. And to chop up the spinach, I don't think I'm gonna need as much as I pulled out, but I'm just gonna take a couple of leaves of it. I'm probably not gonna use, cause you don't wanna use too much spinach cause then it's gonna turn whatever you're making green. And we don't want that. So now that we have our onions and our spinach, we are going to saute off some of this garlic. I actually got this from Amazon. It's a, um, it's actually a, what do you call it? A hot plate and I love it. Like it's cast iron, it's actually cast iron. I had another one, but it kind of clunked out on me. So I ended up just going in the bucket a little bit for this one right here. As you can see, it goes all the way up from one to max on both ends. But I'm only gonna be using this side tonight. And I'm gonna be using one of my favorite cast iron skillets. Like this is a actually, a, I think it's a eight inch or might be a six inch uh, large cast iron. I love me some cast iron. Like I have so much cast iron. I just, I love cast iron. But I'm gonna be using this one tonight, as you can see. It's already been pre-seasoned, pre-greased. All, it, all it's ready for is some good food, like this dip here that we about to make. I got it up to five. Once it gets all heated, I'm going to be melting down probably about two tablespoons of butter, and I'm gonna saute the garlic first. Let that saute for about 15 seconds. Then I'm gonna add the onions and the spinach, let that saute, and we're gonna go from there, okay? Two tablespoons of butter. Help that melt in there some. Then I'm gonna use like a tablespoon of garlic. And yes, I use pre-minced garlic because sometimes I just don't be wanting to mince my own garlic, okay? And if it's already minced for me, then what's the point of me having to mince it myself? But I know people be throwing shade like, why she use pre-minced garlic? Why does it matter? It's garlic, right? So. I'm gonna drop that garlic in there, let it saute. We're gonna go ahead and add in these onions. Get them a little stir. Let 
Let them get all soft and sauteed. And then now we're gonna add in our spinach. Saute that, saute that, excuse me. Saute that for a few minutes. I actually have some heavy milk. I'm gonna be using some heavy milk. I'm gonna use like maybe a half a cup of heavy milk. And if I need more, I will add more. Pour that in. I could. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Give yeah, that a good stir. And I'm gonna use like half a stick of cream cheese. I love me some cream cheese. Like, I don't know where this love affair with cream cheese, cream cheese, cream cheese came in from. But I just love cream cheese. I put it in everything, my macaroni and cheese, everything. Everything that usually requires me to have to use regular cheese, I'm gonna add cream cheese to it too. Just cause it's so good. Come on, come on out of there, there you go. I'm gonna let that melt up in there. See, I put just the right amount of spinach in there. That way it doesn't turn the dip green because I don't I don't want it to be green. All right, so now that this cream cheese has melted down, you see the consistency change. The cream cheese has thickened it up. Yes, it has. So, so far we have melted the butter, sauteed the garlic and the butter, sauteed the onions, sauteed the spinach. Yes. I'm gonna be actually using pepper jack cheese and Kobe jack cheese. I'm just gonna let those melt down in there just like I did the cream cheese. I'm gonna let that melt down. And that Colby Jack is gonna give it that sharp taste. That Pepper Jack is gonna give it that, you know, a little bit of heat with a little bit of twang. Yes. To so move this out the way for a minute so that we can shred this cheese here. I might do need that whole block. I don't think this is gonna cover it. We will see if we need to shred the rest of that block off. I know I don't be needing to eat this much cheese, but I just can't stay away. <laughs> I can't stay away from it. It's like everything that's supposed to be a substitute for cheese just don't taste like cheese. So, I don't know. But to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and shred off a little bit more of this cheese. That way it can be balanced out. So I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. So now that I have melted all my cheese up in here, I'm gonna go ahead and season this cheese sauce a little bit because my salmon is already seasoned from they being leftovers. I don't wanna make this too hot because my kids swear I'll be trying to kill them. So I'm gonna use like a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, about a half a tablespoon of Old Bay. And I'm gonna use some smoked paprika, which is my favorite. I use smoked paprika on like everything. If you watch my cooking videos, you know I love smoked paprika. Stir that all in. And I'm gonna taste it. I just wanna see how it tastes. 
Oh, that's good, y'all. That's good right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add my salmon to it. I'm not gonna maneuver it too much. I just want it to sit on top just like that. And turn this eye off. pieces of spinach. I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit more smoked paprika. And a little bit of black pepper. So this is how it looks before I put it in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes at 400 degrees, just to give the cheese a chance to thicken up and for it to brown off a little bit on top. This is gonna be the bread that we use to dip our salmon dip. Um, I got it from Walmart. I believe it was like a dollar, maybe a dollar and 50. Go ahead and break it in half. And I'm gonna slice it thin. It's just real thin slices, not too thin, not like potato chip thin, but maybe about that thick. So I'm gonna just lay this bread on the silicone mat. Just like so. Okay, so for the bread, all you're gonna need is some melted butter. And then I'm gonna put a tiny bit of garlic in, a tiny bit of Italian seasoning. And a little bit of smoked paprika. I'm gonna mix that up real good. Spread it on our bread, just like so. And you can do both sides if you want. I'm just gonna do one myself. But you can definitely put butter on both sides of these breads if you choose to for the flavor. Then I have about 10 minutes left, which is good because I can actually put this bread and the bread in the dip should be coming out at the same time if I hurry up. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. That should be done in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and I'm gonna be back when everything is ready, okay? All right, y'all, so the hot salmon dip is done. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. All right, niece and nephew, so this hot salmon and spinach dip is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna be sure I list all the ingredients down in the comments. Not in the comments, but in the section below. I'm sorry, I can't even think straight. That's how good this is. I'm gonna also make sure I list all my products and all my equipment that I use. I look forward to seeing you guys on many, many more episodes of Auntie Lauren's Kitchen. Y'all already know what I'm about to say in case you can't see it in the back behind me. It's saying now go wash your hands, bless your food, and let's eat y'all because this is good. This is good. See you on the next episode. Bye.
between problem solving in the universe working itself out all that i have is all that i need but to actualize it i can't doubt no doubt my emotions are valid but the goal is not to be triggered every time never mind it's just life it's okay you want to be honor me